when you, you talk to Tara and say, well, okay, I actually, I, I have somebody yeah. that can do this, what was her reaction? She immediately started laughing, like, oh my God, I love you so much, like, I can't wait. I'm gonna buy you something nice for this. Awesome, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I remember at one time she said that she was gonna buy me something really nice and um, to get a hold of her as soon as I got a hold of my friend. So she does come up with a guy. We, we well, now know it's her, yeah, um, her, her police officer. Her um, detective right. comes up with someone, yes. And how much did, did you agree to pay this guy? She thought it was gonna start around 500. That's pretty cheap. I, I think it was supposed to be a down payment. So who did she tell you you were meeting? Her buddy. And when and where did you meet him and what did you say to him? I tell her I can't, I'm not, not doing this. At this point, had you decided you didn't want to do this? Yes. And I was trying so hard to just not meet and end these calls that were getting so annoying. Were you trying to sabotage this? I was over it. I was. I mean, were you trying to sabotage it by short, not showing up with enough money, not make it where it's like he blows you off? Yeah, I didn't want to be mugged after I pissed this guy off. I had valuable things in my purse. So I changed out my purse and had to stop at an ATM and I withdrew a hundred dollar bill. And in that purse from a previous concert, I had $25. But I was scared to death to actually not show up with anything. So in my mind, and still to this day, no one capable of doing what he does is going to do anything further for $100, later $125. And when I left that car, he said, I'll be in touch in a couple weeks. I had a couple weeks to end this and to make sure that this didn't go down. Target's gonna be at the meet location. So this gets set up for them to meet, mm -hmm. okay? So with the police there, you're talking to her on the phone and arrange the time and place to meet, which is in the parking lot in front of the KFC. Silver Lexus four-door sedan sitting on the west side of uh, Long John's and KFC. I actually didn't get back to her quick enough. Uh -huh. um, she actually wrote me over Facebook and wanted to know when we were going to meet for lunch, you know, when I was going to get a hold of them. And... Okay, so Tara, she's actually providing the impetus. She's keeping this moving. Yeah. You didn't get back to her fast enough. It's like, hey, you know, what, 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 what? Yeah. Okay, so because she says she thought, you know, this will just play out. It'll go away. It'll never really happen but she was actually keeping the ball rolling? Yeah. Okay. And so the impetus here was her, not you. Tara gets back to you, text message. Yeah. Did it seem odd that she was putting this in writing? Yeah, yeah, because that was what I said. That's what I said um, when I was talking to the detective. I said, something's just, just off about the whole, just the whole thing, the way that I felt. You know, and I had mentioned to them that I know Tara from high school. She's a she's a manipulator. She can manipulate you very well. And um, I felt like she was writing me over over Facebook, so that way maybe she thought I was going to help her, and then maybe she had somebody to pin it on once it was done.